hey guys welcome to my channel and in this video i am going to show you how to implement firebase in-app messaging in your android application so first of all you need to connect your application to firebase once you are done with that uh, you will be greeted with the firebase console so then go into in-app messaging here and then click on create your first campaign Okay, so before you can display uh, any kind of in-app messages in your application, you need to add the dependencies in your build.gradle app label build.gradle uh, So I will link this documentation in down in the description You just need to copy these two dependencies and paste them in your build.gradle So uh, once you are done uh, with that, sync your Gradle. After you are done syncing the Gradle, don't uh, build the app right now. First of all, go into in-app messaging console and then uh, type in a in-app message uh, like so. Okay, now click on next and add a campaign name. Uh, you can also add any kind of campaign description. That's up to you. Then select your application and then click on next. Uh, you can also schedule uh, when your app will, uh, when your in-app message will go to everyone's, everybody's device. And uh, from here, you can also add how they will show up on that particular device. So here I will uh, add uh, on foreground and on app launch so that the user will be notified with the in-app messaging as soon as the app launches. Then click on next and uh, then click on publish. And click on publish again. Now, those who have installed your application on their device should uh, see the in-app message pop up when they start their when they start the application. So now go into Android Studio again and uh, run your application on your device. As you can see here, uh, the in-app message just pop up right here with the title, the description and the image and it exactly looks like this and uh, you can just uh, click on the button to do whatever action that was specified on the website, on the console. Like uh, I gave it to open this image. So there is also a nifty trick in order you want to test your uh, in-app message before rolling it out to others uh, so there is also a thing known as device preview so first uh, create a message and then test on your device so it will ask for an instance ID so how to get that instance ID you can get the instance ID uh, from the logcat so from Android studio go into logcat and then close your application and start again in order to load the logcat of your application
okay uh, so now go into debug and then search for in app messaging and uh, here uh, you will uh, find this line with starting in app messaging runtime with instance id this so uh, this is your instance id so what you can do is copy this instance id and uh, paste it in the console and uh, click on test and uh, as you can see the test message has popped up on your device and this message will not pop up on any other device this will pop up on devices for whose you have given the instance id so this is how you can implement in app messaging in your android application thanks for watching if you found this video helpful then hit on the like button and if you have any queries regarding this you can leave them in the comment section down below thanks for watching again and hope to see you in my next videos